Hello students. Today we will discuss virtual instrumentation systems. A virtual instrumentation system is a software that is used by the user to develop a computerized test and measurement system for controlling an external measurement hardware device from a desktop computer and for displaying test or measurement data on a panel in the computer screen. The block diagram of virtual instrumentation system is shown here. It mainly consists of sensing module and computing module. The computing module consists of information system interface, processing module, sensor interface, database interface, user interface, display and control. First one is the sensor module. The main functions of sensor module are first one to interface virtual instrument to the external world. Second one is transforming the measured signals into computer readable form. Therefore, a sensor module consists of three main parts. Sensing or transducer, signal conditioning and analog to digital converter. The transducer converts physical signals into electrical signal and given to signal conditioning unit. Signal conditioning unit is used for amplification, isolation, filtering, etc. And the output of signal conditioning unit is given to analog to digital converter. We know that the analog to digital converter converts the detected and conditioned voltage into digital value. Next is the sensor interface. Sensor interface is used for the communication between sensor module and the computer. Example, USB interface, Bluetooth, etc. Next one is the information system interface. Information system interface are used for decision support, real-time alerts, predictive warnings, etc. And next one is the processing module. It consists of microprocessors or microcontrollers. The processing function used in virtual instrumentation are analytic processing, artificial intelligence techniques, etc. Next is the database interface. This allows measured data to be stored for offline processing or to keep records. User interface. We can classify user interfaces used in virtual instrumentation into four groups. First one is terminal user interfaces. Example, textual messages. Second one is graphical user interfaces. Example, graphs, charts, etc. Third one is multi-mode user interfaces. And the fourth one is virtual and augmented reality interfaces. In virtual instrumentation system, software is the most important component. With the right software tool, engineers and scientists can efficiently create their own applications. Therefore, in virtual instrumentation, graphical programming techniques are used. Graphical programming languages provide a different method of coding means instead of using programming languages such as C, C++ or Java, graphical languages are coded by selecting objects, connecting them and adding functionality. The most commonly used graphical programming language is LabVIEW. LabVIEW.
Laboratory Virtual Instrument Engineering Workbench. LabVIEW programs are called Virtual Instruments or VIs because their appearance and operation imitate physical instruments such as oscilloscopes, multimeters, etc. In LabVIEW, programs are formed as block diagrams. Therefore, it uses data flow programming where the flow of data determines execution order. Some other graphical programming languages are cube language, bounce language, etc. Thank you.